like to welcome our second presenter, Lara, Laura Hamill, Principal Product Marketing Manager for Red Canary. Um, before we kick off Laura's presentation, I want to remind you guys in the audience, if you have any questions for Laura as her presentation goes on, please do put them in the, the box in your console and we'll try to get to as many of them during her presentation. Or if we don't, uh, Laura and the Red Canary team will reach out to you afterwards. Laura, who is our next presenter, is a cybersecurity marketing experience, excuse me, a cybersecurity marketer experience in product marketing, market intelligence, and advocating for customer needs. She has over 12 years of experience working in SaaS and five years working in cybersecurity focused on security operations. You're in for another great session. Laura, take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. And Ian, thank you so much for teeing it up. So if we go back to one of my favorite slides of yours with um, the threat landscape and everything is on fire, you can think of Red Canary MDR as those little red birds that will fly over your environment and let you know if any kindling is starting to catch on fire. And then if it does, we will also tell you how to take care of it or we can remediate it for you. So I am here to kind of bring relief to the crazy threat environment that we all know and are very aware of because it's in the news every day. And so just to start out, I wanna give a good quote from Gartner and basically managed detection response or MDR is focused on alert ingestion, detecting security incidents and then responding to them. And so Gartner defines MDR as Gartner services. MDR. Oh, sorry, I just heard a little echo as services that provide customers with remotely delivered human-led turnkey modern SOC functions, ultimately delivering threat disruption and containment. So this quote comes from their 2023 market guide for managed detection response services, which actually came out just this Valentine's Day. And so we're very privileged today to speak um, with you. And yesterday I was actually on the phone with one of the analysts behind the report. And one key point that he highlighted was that a good MDR provider focuses heavily on the human-led component. And I will speak more about that in a moment. So the slide has a lot of information on it. You might wanna take a screenshot or we will also have a PDF version of this deck to send out to you afterward. But basically, managed detection response services provide customers with remotely delivered security operations center or SOC functions. And these functions allow organizations to rapidly detect, analyze, investigate, and actively respond through threat disruption and containment. What I want you to know is that good MDR providers will offer a turnkey experience and they'll use a predefined technology stack that covers endpoint, network, logs, and cloud. And then the telemetry from those different technology stacks will then be analyzed within the MDR providers platform using a range of different techniques. And this process allows for investigation by experts that are skilled in threat hunting and incident management who deliver outcomes that your business can act on. So here are some of the core MDR capabilities as outlined by Gartner. And I won't read through all of these, and like I said, the deck will be made available to you after the presentation. But here are a couple of things that I'd really like to highlight if you are looking at getting an MDR provider. One of them is 24 seven remotely delivered detection response functions. And of course, it's really important to have around the clock coverage because we know that threat actors actually prefer holidays, nights and weekends the times that you and your team do not want to be working or responding to texts and emails. And also a really good MDR provider will have that human component. And the human component includes staff that engage daily with individual customer data, the availability of immediate remote mitigation response. So if you know a threat is coming in through a specific endpoint, being able to isolate that endpoint, and so you're containing malicious activities. And then it also a good MDR provider will also provide triage, investigative and managed responses to all your discovered threats. And the reason that I highlighted this 
is because it's important to watch out for what I like to call MDR copycats. So what do I mean by MDR copycats? Here, I mean companies who deliver alert intake and or threat detection, but they leave the response and remediation up to you and your team. So some of the customers I've spoken to refer to this as throwing alerts over the wall, regardless of prioritization. And it can actually create more work for your team. So I'm gonna start with the MSSPs and I actually came from a large MSSP. Um, and MSSPs at one point in time, they used to focus on network telemetry and infrastructure of log data. And what happened was they saw a market opportunity as the demand for MDR exploded over the past several years. And so they, um, you know, offer a solution that is what I'd like to call MDR adjacent. And they also will seem to check all the boxes. However, I want to caution you that their primary focus is still going to be on firewall, endpoint, and patching. So you're still often required to do your own incident response, threat intelligence, and remediation. And some MSSPs have also rebranded or offer co-managed SIM. So this is really good if you need help with your SIM implementation because it can be complex and it can be costly. Um, but the SIM alerts that you get, um, you'll actually just get the alerts thrown to you and you don't get any value added insight for threat detection from an MSSP or a co-managed SIM. And then finally, in the copycats category, are EDR specific MDR providers. And they also fall short of the Gartner core capabilities that I shared on the last slide. So on the surface, if you add MDR to your existing EDR, it may seem to also check the boxes and but it's really going to increase your security spend and the MDR offerings will be centered around the EDR vendors products. So it means that you'll only be able to build or see half of what's happening to your organization. All right. So these are the top three problems that true MDR solves for. Talent shortages, skills gaps, quality 24 by seven coverage, alert fatigue, tool sprawl, and the widening attack surface. So we all know that the cybersecurity workforce um, has actually reached an all time high, and we have about 4.7 million professionals but there is still a global shortage of 3 point million workers in the field. And this is according to a report that came out actually just last October. And as I mentioned before, it's really important to have 24 by seven coverage because 39% of all confirmed threats observed by Red Canary happen after standard hours. And then finally, because 43% of organizations are working with 10 vendors and their security needs, we're also seeing a lot of alert fatigue caused by tool sprawl. And here is an architecture of how Red Canary MDR works. So the goal of managed detection response is to protect your organization from a cybersecurity breach by detecting and responding to threats in your environment. Like I gave the firefighting analogy earlier. So first we get, to, we get alerts by ingesting raw telemetry from cloud sat cloud and SaaS applications, networks, and endpoints. And unlike other MDR providers, we are actually ingesting the raw telemetry from these sources. And um, we can also ingest alerts from your SIM. So we monitor your environment around the clock, and our experts are also available to you anytime, day or night, and we do not charge extra for reach out. And then we put our XDR platform and our threat intelligence team to work to detect any incidents. And our threat intelligence educates you about adversaries and how they are affecting you. And then we help you respond and remediate in a number of different ways from orchestration and automated workflows to our incident handlers that will provide you with personalized response. And on top of that, our testing and validation also gives you confidence that everything is working like you'd expect. A newer offering that we launched just last year is called Active Remediation where if you give us permission, we can actually remediate threats on your behalf so your team can focus on having a lovely night, weekend, or holiday. So how do we do it? 
Let's talk about the three main categories, our ability to detect, our ability to respond, and the everywhere coverage of Red Canary. All right, so this slide explains how we detect threats by ingesting data, applying analytics and intelligence, and giving really smart people really amazing technology to make sense of what we found. So we ingest both raw telemetry and security alerts to find threats that are missed by other tools. We provide thousands of advanced behavioral analytics that are combined with proprietary intelligence to detect threats and reduce false positives. And our human experts are armed with automation tools that hunt and investigate suspicious activity. So this means that you're going to know when really bad stuff happens quickly. And we'll tell you which of the alerts you've been getting that actually really need your attention, not just throwing alerts over the wall like some MSSPs tend to do. And we're going to detect more threats that um, you were never even alerted to before because we're ingesting that raw telemetry. And we generally find about five times more threats on your endpoints than your EDR products will alert you to. And a great example of when we found a threat before anyone else was the Kaseya incident, which happened on Independence Day weekend. And so that Friday before, we detected Kaseya dropping ransomware payloads before anyone else was talking about it and before any EDR products were detecting it. And we found it because last year we had done some threat research into how adversaries might use supply chain attacks like this. So we found it, our automated playbooks kicked in and half a dozen of our customers who were affected were back to having a great independent state weekend. So back to our friends at Gartner, detecting a threat is meaningless without a pre-planned timely response to that threat. So let's talk about response. We offer the broadest and deepest set of response actions to our customers so they can take decisive action. And the key value proposition for MDR is the human interpretation of security incidents, providing guidance as well as informing the initial mitigation steps that would other by, otherwise be too complex to understand and enact. So what you see here is the difference that Red Canary makes for our customers. The amount of incidents reduced, and when they have an incident, we can swif swiftly help them respond, recover, and improve, which significantly reduces mean time to respond uh, to the likelihood of a breach. And finally, we don't just provide MDR, we provide it across your entire environment. So wherever the adversary goes, they're going to find Red Canary, and we're going to ruin their day. So to quote one of our customers in the higher education space, Red Canary has been a proven and comprehensive security solution. It's not just a tool, but is a combination of the tool, the services, and the people, all from the way of sales side down to our account manager and technical representative. We meet regularly with the team and they genuinely care about helping us improve our security. I love that quote. So basically, Red Canary brings you value across all your different data sources, cloud, SaaS, network, and endpoints. And with that, I will move into Q&A, and you should also now see a poll question pop up on your screen, and I will keep that poll question up while I answer any questions that you all may have. Thanks, Laura. We do have a couple of questions. Um, one from Asgar who asks, how does MDR work with SIM? All right, so how does MDR work with SIM? So a lot of our customers come to us and they already have a SIM in place. And Red Canary can either, they can integrate with SIM in two ways. One, we can push threat notifications into your SIM to allow for consolidated alerting, or we can adjust the SIM data via direct API integrations. So if we go back, or I guess I won't go back because then I'll disable the poll, but that slide that I had the architecture and it had network, endpoint, cloud, and SaaS applications, you could also put SIM underneath that. And so MDR and SIM are complementary tools because SIM can provide the foundation for collecting, analyzing, and correlating security data. 
and MDR really provides deeper analysis, ingestion, and response capabilities? Great question. Great. From Sarah, how can I get more information from Gartner on MDR? Awesome. Yes, and the Gartner report, like I said, came out just a couple weeks ago. And the link to that latest report should be available to you now in the resources window. Great. And then one last question for you, Laura. Before we sign off, if our audience wants to contact Red Canary for a demo, for instance, or questions or a quote, what's the best way to reach out and get in touch? Yeah, so you can answer yes to the poll question, or you could also email info at Red Canary and we'll be able to route you to the right person. Great, and then of course, there's also those resources from Red Canary that are available on the console for you right now. Audience, if we didn't get to your question for Laura and the Red Canary team, we'll make sure to forward them and someone will get in touch with you after this session or this uh, coffee talk, excuse me. And uh, that's it, Laura, thank you so much for taking the time to present to us and answer these questions. Thanks everyone for attending this Coffee Talk episode titled Managed Detection and Response 101, Why MDR and Why Now?